All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of Curricane, which is being made by forum user Bellowell, and what this glorious little piece of work adds into the game is a fun new disposable science probe that can collect both surface samples as well as EVA reports without the use of a Kerbal, which of course you would typically need for those two specific science gathering tests, and that is just wonderful. I've always wanted a robotic probe that could be sent out to do that very thing in this game, and now we have it. And of course this is a science gathering mod, so we are in a science save file today rather than a, a typical sandbox, so let's head on into the R&D building to take a look at how you get your hands on one of these lovely little probes and where you'll want to look for it is about halfway down the tree in advanced exploration and you'll see here that is where we get the hurricane science probe so it's a little bit down the tree you'll need to do a fair amount of research before getting to here but once you have it this will help fast track a lot of science for you in the future in that is just wonderful. So yes, once again, advanced exploration is the tech you are looking to research. So that's all we really need to do in here. Let's head on into the VAB to take a look at this lovely new part in more detail. Now, being a probe core, you would think that it'd be somewhere in here, but no, since it's scientific, it is down here in the science tab. But since it is a unmanned command pod, we can grab it as the first part of our ship. And as you can see here, of course, unmanned command pod uses 18 electrical charge per hour. It has two lovely scientific experiments in the EVA report and the take surface samples and has a quite small battery of only 25 electrical charge. And since it uses 18 per hour, you're, you're not going to get much time with this thing. But again, I, I mentioned earlier when we started this up that it is a disposable science probe. So the idea of this is to drop it, do the science, and then be done with it. So you're not really wanting this to sit there long. So a battery of 25 should be more than enough for the purposes of this mod. Now you can see the crash tolerance is only at 12 meters per second, which is lower than a typical probe core, but it is higher than your typical scientific instrumentation. Most of these seem to be at about seven to eight, of course, with some like the mystery goo container being equal to it at about 12 meters per second. Uh, so it's, it's meant to take a little bit more of an impact, but not a whole lot. And of course, as I mentioned, disposable, so it's not meant to be there for long. And now to the oddities of this little piece. As I said, meant to be disposable. And its specific intention is to be dropped from, say, an airplane into different biomes. So you'd fly around a planet and drop one of these into each biome so you can get that uh, EVA report and surface sample from each of those biomes and then just let it be and so it's done for once you've gotten those two experiments out of the way. So because of that, it's not intended to have other things connected to it except for a Mark 16 parachute. That is the one attachment point that we have for this probe is on this end over here, and it is meant for a parachute. We cannot attach anything else to this radially, and we also don't have any other direct attachment points. So the parachute is the only intended object, unless of course you'd like to attach things to said parachute, but I don't imagine that would end very well for you. So yes, it's not meant to have other things attached to it. The original sort of intent for this mod, and indeed the reason why the mod maker created this, was to be used here on Kerbin, and only here on Kerbin, the idea being dropping these en masse around the planet to do the samples, and then retrieve all their data from the tracking station. So they weren't meant to be dropped as long-term probes anywhere, just drop them, collect, and be done with it, as I've said multiple times at this point. So that is why it's fairly simplistic. Now that's the intended use 
I personally have been finding that there are many fun unintended uses for this, but we'll get onto those in a little bit after I go over the intended use for this particular mod. So yes, this is supposed to be the design of how you use it. You attach it to, say, the wing of a plane, drop it by a radial decoupler, release the parachute, and then collect your science, and that is that. Now, actually, before we exit the VAB, I did want to quickly mention the model and texturing. I'm actually quite happy with it. It looks pretty close to stock alike. Uh, the model's pretty nice, the texturing pretty good. I like the little addition of the warning label there, a good little extra touch. Uh, the texturing itself could use a little bit more work to make it look closer to stock alike, but overall, I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. It's a very cool little mod and, well, just a singular part, so, yeah, maybe you don't. And it's meant to be used as a disposable thing, so maybe you don't care about how it looks too much. But yes, that is our lovely little, uh, Hurricane Science Probe. So let's go take a look at this thing's intended use. Now what I've done is build a crappy little airplane that I have two of these attached to the underside of the wings. So we'll grab the probe ship, go to launch Jebediah as our pilot, and uh, yeah, so hopefully we can do this fairly quickly so we can get on to the unintended uses, which personally I find more fun. But yes, yeah, so let's just take off this plane, and as you can see, on the underside of the wing, I have radial decouplers on both wings here. And we have the fun little science probe and its parachute. And each of the uh, decouplers is set to a singular uh, action group, or not action group, but staging rather, so that we can quickly drop each one individually. Let's bring up my gear and maybe pay attention to my flying rather than talking about the mods so we don't crash. <laughs> okay. And as I said, the intent for this mod was to be dropped from planes, one of these probes in each biome. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, because I don't honestly do much science on Kerbin, uh, we, this is one biome here, so let's drop one of these probe cores and uh, tilt up real quickly and go back to it. And one thing we'll notice if we go to rename the vessel, it's set as debris, because again, it's meant to be disposable. Now I'm going to turn it to probe so it stays there longer and head back to the plane. And then we'll release another one of these. There we go. Tilt the plane up a bit so it doesn't crash. And set this one also as a probe. And then back to the plane where, <laughs> well, I'm not going to land this baby because, well, I rarely ever land planes very well. So let's cut the engine. Tilt up. And away. There we go. Excellent. Now, that should be perfectly fine. Let's go back to the probe cores. And the reason that it has it as debris is, again, because this is intended to be disposable. The idea being you drop it, you gather the science, and then just forget about it. The debris will automatically go away in the future. But the problem is, is you can't always collect the science you intend to collect from this, from the tracking station, while it's still debris. So I always change it to probe real quick once it's landed. So we have this baby on the ground and the other one should have, oh, it's too far away now. Oh boy. So, <laughs> well, we have this one on the ground and we can, as you can see here, collect an EVA report without a Kerbal present. Lovely, we didn't need a spacesuit, of course. And we can also take a surface sample. Yep, looks like dirt indeed. There we go. And it's not intended to have an antenna or anything, so the intended use is to recover the vessel. Or, of course, head back to the space center and go to recover it from there. So there we are. We collected a surface sample and an EVA report. Bam, we're done. We can then go and uh, check out the other ship, which... Oh boy, is uh, debris at this point. Okay, and... Oh, there we go. It's fallen now. So it should be in a different biome. Take a surface sample. Yeah, it's very muddy and sandy here. Very good. So yes, it was a different biome. Excellent. EVA report. Spacesuit. Still not necessary. And there we go. We have collected this data. And yeah, we can review it. Now, I actually didn't notice this before. We could potentially transmit, but I doubt we'd run out of, uh, or I think we'd run out of electrical charge. Let's try it though real quick. I haven't done this. I've always just recovered the vessel as I've been playing with this today. So let's transmit. Ah, uh, yes. Transmitting will render the module inoperable. Restoring functionality requires scientists. Transmit it anyways. 
Yes, no comms device. So that's what I figured. Just wanted to make sure I didn't miss a comms device built into this thing. So I figured that wouldn't work, but <laughs> I didn't think about it earlier. So yes, we do have to recover the vessel to actually collect said science. And yeah, that is the intent of these particular parts. You drop them around the world and gather their data. Now, since they don't have any transmitters, the intended use, as I mentioned earlier, is to drop these on Kerbin and then collect them here from the tracking station. But if you do a little bit of creative building, these actually make really awesome probes to go to other worlds. So I have tested this by sending a probe to Duna here, our little hurricane probe. Let's go fly that. And by instead of having a parachute attached to the one attachment point, I added a nice little structural piece and then built different pieces onto the structural piece. So we've got our landing legs, solar panels, batteries, and even a little reaction wheel all attached to this nice little gantry here. And then the gantry is attached to our science probe, which we can still collect our EVA reports from. We can still take surface samples from. And then since we do have communitrons on this, we can transmit the data. Now, again, it'll make it inoperable, but it will transmit and it is meant to be a disposable probe. So who cares if it is inoperable? We've made those two bits of scientific data, collected 72 points of science from that one, 19.2 science from the other, and yeah, now we can just forget about this probe. Just let it die here because, well, it's inoperable now. It's served its purpose. So you can still use these as disposable probes on other planets, but you just got to get a little bit creative with how you build it. So again, yeah, the, the mod maker's intended use was for this to only be on Kerbin. But if you, you know, expand your mind a little bit and get a bit creative with how you build your probes, you can send these babies all over the solar system and collect up EVA reports and also the surface samples without having to put your Kerbals in danger. Because yeah, you never like losing Kerbals in the game, even if it's uh, pretty typical. So it's always nice to send out robotic probes to do their jobs for them. And yeah, that is why I'm really loving this mod. I, I quite enjoy it. I, I like sending out robotic probes first and then sending manned missions. So being able to take these samples on the robotic probe missions I just love it. It makes me happy. I'm really enjoying this mod, and I hope you guys give it a try and enjoy it too. And of course, if you would like to check it out, you can go to the link in the description as always, and I do hope you do give it a try. And maybe you can come up with even cooler little probe designs for sending them to other planets against, of course, the intended use of the mod maker. I always love finding weird little uses that the mod makers may not have thought about. So yes, if you do come up with an interesting interesting little probe, tweet me a pic or something, I'd love to see them, maybe you can come up with a much more interesting design than I have, and yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the episode today, and of course, that you come back for the next, but until then, thank you for watching my friends, and as always, have a good one. Now I'm going to swarm these probes all around the solar system, there'll be thousands of them, it'll be glorious, later guys!